16-year-old Joseph Harley Strawn is working to become an Eagle Scout. When he was trying to settle on what service project he could do, he decided to work with an organization that he felt connected to, the Community of Hope. I learned about the Community of Hope because a former scoutmaster who been a very big impact in my life, he, he was here for uh, part of his life and he passed away like um, before my before I even began the Eagle Scout project and I just want to commemorate this for him and so that's why I came here. Cam Pope helped his former scoutmaster get back on his feet. So Strawn asked executive director of Mesilla Valley Community of Hope, Nicole Martinez, what project he could help with. He decided on helping put a solar panel on the guard shack, something Martinez said is very helpful. We have camper residents here who don't have electricity in the evening and we're asking them to stand guard at the guard shack 24-7 and so this is really a way that would help them to have that safety feature of having the light and an access to be able to charge things that they might need that help them as they're working on transitioning out of their homelessness. Strawn says he helped coordinate different organizations that were willing to donate their time and money as well as digging a trench for the wiring and working on putting together a solar battery. He says this is the biggest project he's ever completed. I, I led some things in the past before, but nothing like this. It was kind of intimidating a little bit. Got this big goal, because this was like a $6,000 project, and so that's pretty big. I'm like, can I even do this? And sometimes I did kind of didn't think I could do this, but I'm glad I stuck with it. I'm glad I got everyone coordinated. Nicole Martinez says the residents have taken full advantage of the new solar power and work to conserve the energy as much as possible. They love it. The residents have been really grateful to all the support that Joseph has given, and he did have a great team that was helping him with that, you know, engineering without boundaries, uh, positive energy. We did receive some funding also that supported from the Las Cruces Home Builders Association. Uh, the residents were really excited on the day they came here. Even today, they've come up to thank him again for helping with this project. I think that makes them feel um, that they are part of the community when people do recognize uh, that they are here and that they are working towards self-sufficiency. His father, Ken Strawn, says Joseph wasn't sure if he wanted to accept the award for his work. He's going, I don't really want this publicity. I'm not a hero, but if I can bring some more publicity to this place, maybe they can get a shade tree or some other items that they really need. So he plans on still helping them once he earns his Eagle rank advancement. He says they are proud their son has always felt connected to helping others. Oh, very proud. His mother and I are very proud of him, and he's been doing service for a long time, so we're very proud, and he's almost completing his Eagle rank advancements to the highest in scouts. Joseph says teenagers can help a lot of people if they put their mind to it. I feel teenagers um, can do a lot, a lot more than they think. They just need to get the motivation and Maybe sometimes it's contact, and maybe it's sometimes people not thinking they can do much, but really, I mean, if you look at this, I'm just a 16-year-old who's just got a big idea and just decided to go with it. He says he wouldn't have been able to complete the project without the help and support he got, and plans on continuing to help at Community of Hope. For KRWG, I'm Samantha Sonner.